Hello there. Uh, so this video I'm making is because over this weekend I hit um, over 100 subscribers and I just wanted to thank everybody uh, for subscribing. Um, a huge thanks to a bunch of other uh, YouTube channels that really kind of helped me get to this point. <coughs> um, that would be um, Matt, Tez, and Mark, uh, or Shabby, is over at, uh, you know, the Friday live stream, Universal Shabby Reviews, um, you know, it's their individual channels, Universal Collector, uh, Roland's Reviews, and Mark Shabby Geek. Um, if you came to this channel by another means and, and not don't know those guys, please, please subscribe to their channel and watch their content. They're all great. Um, another big shout out to uh, Paul's Collectibles, someone I've interacted with a long time. Uh, Luke at Reynolds Reviews, um, all of them. If you're not sub to them, please do. If you like my content at all, you'll love theirs. Um, also, uh, the guys over uh, at Collection Wars, uh, Gabe and Mike and everybody else there. Um, those, you know, there's a couple of live streams I've done with them. They've helped have. Uh, brought some notice to this channel and I really appreciate it and they put on some really great content uh, content and uh, I mean and it's all proof that you know we all collect differently and uh, you know there's no right or wrong way to collect it's just you know, as long as you're having fun and uh, it's great you know and, and I just love the community and I'm glad that you guys um, like this channel and so I really wanted to go back for this and uh, just kind of go into, you know, why, what started my collection. And uh, really, if you've seen my room tour and you've seen everything that I have in here, I mean, this is stuff that I've amassed since 1978 when I was a little kid. And uh, I mean, it started off with my childhood toys and, you know, it's just kind of grown from there. And it really all started with this figure here. And uh, oh, another great channel. If, uh, if I would love for Action Figure Creator to look at this you know, and see what it would be graded as. I mean, I won't ever you know, get any of my vintage toys that I've had because I, uh, I won't get them graded. And I won't really, I don't really collect anymore like I don't go after vintage items I mean render retro vintage or anything like that well um, the main reason is is because what I have is the stuff that I had as a kid and the memories that I have with them you know is is the main reason other than you know they're, they're great toys and all but just the memory I have of you know with my childhood toys is what makes them really special to me and this Luke in particular um, this is the first Star Wars figure that I ever got and it was the summer of 78 I had been begging since Christmas begging my parents to get um, Star Wars action figures and of course you know the whole early bird kit and everything else um, my parents didn't go for stuff like that but um, that summer it was uh, the summer of 78. We took a trip across country where, you know, it was, we were in a Dodge Aspen station wagon to towing a trailer. And, uh, you know, so it was long days in the car as we drove. And uh, it was a great, great vacation. A lot of great memories. But I remember the first day, this because it was going to be long days in the car, my parents bought some Star Wars figures. So I had um, this Luke, uh, Tuscan Raider, who is actually, believe it or not, in worse shape than this guy. <laughs> um, there was a Chewbacca that my sister played with and eventually ended up with my toys. And then uh, my brother got R2-D2 and C-3PO, both of which also ended up in, in, in my toys. Um, but... Yeah, so I still remember sitting in the back of the car and they surprised me with, with this figure and you can just tell I this guy is probably the most loved action figure that I have. Uh, 
the joints are completely loose. He, I can get him to stand for a few seconds, and uh, yeah, I don't know how long he'll last there. But um, I mean, <laughs> his head doesn't turn because it fell off. I had to glue it back on. I've worn the paint off, and I tried to redraw his eyes with a magic marker. Uh, yeah, very well paint worn, very well loved. And, uh, you know, it's like, you know, it's like I said, if, I'd love the action figure creator if you were to look at something like this. You know, I doubt he would, <laughs> it would get a much lower price than what I would pray it, of what I would price it as, because for me, this guy is priceless. And this really is the beginning of the whole, everything that is in, in my collection room. And, uh, I don't know. I just thought it would be a fun story to share. Um, I have talked about it a couple other times. I think on Collection Wars. I mentioned it, but... You know, again, I just... I won't go ramble on for too long here, but I uh, just want to do... Again, say thank you to everybody who subscribes and watches. And even if you're not subscribed and you watch and you get something out of this... Um, or any of my videos, if it helps one person, gives a perspective to something, um, then I'm happy, you know, I've, if I've helped somebody in this community. I mean, I really only started this channel, I mean, it was kind of goofy how it started. It was a, uh, yeah, it was, um, I started off, I had, we were on vacation in um, the fall of 2019, we surprised our kids with a trip to Disneyland, Legoland, uh, Universal Studios, and all that. And uh, so one of the great things I did was uh, we re as we were driving into Disneyland, you know, we recorded their reaction because they didn't know where we were going. Or, or Legoland, you know, it was even better because you can actually see Legoland as you're driving in. You can't really do that with Disneyland. But... Um, just to get their surprise but the videos were too long for me to send to my family so I decided it'd be easier to just put them on my on my YouTube channel which didn't have anything on it anyway and uh, and just send a link to say my you know send it to my parents and my brother and sister and the rest of the family so they could share in that and uh, so it was kind of fun to do you know just did some stuff like that and then uh, like I said I've been a member of uh, the Jedi Defender forums for a long time and you know things like you know I get like the Revan Saber if you see that review here this is one of the you know some of the first like review stuff I did that or the uh, Anovos Mandalorian helmet where I didn't want to just post a picture of it as I get my review uh, I figured I'd do a video and just so you could see some of the features better like you know because not everybody collects the force effect sabers and stuff and that's fine, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it is a little bit niche, it's, and, uh, you know, or, you know, it's prop replicas and stuff like that, it gets a little more, uh, you know, it's, it's not for everybody, and that's fine, and, and uh, but, so I was, I started doing that, and then, you know, all those videos kind of took off a little bit, it got a lot of views, and I decided, you know, maybe I could do more, you know, and just kind of add to it. So I started doing stuff like um, comparing like my vintage troop transport with the the Mandalorian troop transport, its modern day counterpart, or the evolution of Slave One, or um, the Imperial Walker. I did the same thing. Um, I did a, like the restoration of my vintage snow speeder, which needed a little TLC there. Um, stuff like that. So it just kind of grew from there. And more people seem to enjoy it, so I just kept doing it, and and here we are now. I've never, I never expected many people to subscribe to my channel, but you know I'm really grateful for that. And um, like I said, if I do a video and it helps somebody get perspective on a collect, a, either an action figure or a prop replica or anything that's in here that you know they would think about, you know. If it's good for them or if it's not good for them that's fine i mean it's you know you know see something in that vein you know if it helps one person i'm happy you know so again this is getting really long <laughs> but again thank you so much for everybody for subscribing um if you've watched this and you're not a subscriber please consider it um 
I would really like to, you know, keep growing this channel. Um, also, leave a comment below. Um, I always respond to people. I really do enjoy the feedback and uh, the back and forth. And again, thanks to all those that have helped me get this far. And and uh, I don't know, maybe we'll see, you know, the next 100 or the next 500 or whatever. It would be great. You know, but if not, if so be it. Um, I'm having fun doing this. And until next time, may the Force be with you. Remember, the Force will be with you, always. The Force will be with you.